Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, November 18th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Okay, so just because this is a reading that's dated for the 18th of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate exactly on that time. Yes, whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you that is the message for you at that time but also keep in mind that um, everybody is at a different place on their path on their journey and so just because you know this is the collective message it doesn't have to mean that it's happening for everyone at the same time okay we're all in our own lanes basically yeah so as you can see i have some more added here to the setup we have this beautiful new uh chevron amethyst uh, orb that stella has our beautiful friend stella has donated to the channel to to add it to our crystal collection and then we also have this beautiful sign here sent by a viewer and subscriber. Um, if you guys missed it over the weekend, I did do the unboxing of a lot of the things that, well, all the things that I received so far. Um, and so if you'd like to see that, you can find that on my channel. Yeah, it's the unboxing. Go ahead and watch it. It's a fun little hour. I really enjoyed it. We had a really good time. Yeah. Um, also, a product of the unboxing session, I am here with my OG morning coffee mug. If you guys have been watching morning coffee you know, have you been following for the past year, then you know, then you would recognize this mug because I had this mug a while ago. But the thing about this beautiful, beautiful mug is that it is not dishwasher safe. And I found that out the first time I put it in, in the dishwasher. And so I resolved to never do that again. But then my roommate um, ended up, you know, cleaning up the kitchen and loading the dishwasher and it ended up in there again. And now it's like literally... I'll have to show you guys one day because I still have it, but it's like all of this beautiful color is basically gone. It's like basically just a white mug now. So this one will never go in the dishwasher, at least not by my hands, by, by not by my doing. And I got a number of other mugs too that I'm really super excited to use exclusively for morning coffee. But you know, you guys know I had to, I had to go, I had to start off the week with my OG. I love this mug, this beautiful rainbow unicorn mug. <laughs> Okay, guys, and I'm using my brand new microphone. Um, it's not a lavalier, it's a headset, so it's much closer to my mouth, so I, I speak, um, I can speak much lower, and the volume will be much better for you guys, so this this does kind of make it into a little bit of an ASMR channel, right? Isn't that cute? I love it. <laughs> the, ooh, the problem that I do have is that I do kind of do at certain points have to move my mic to drink the coffee which might end up being a little problematic at some point but we'll make it work we make things work on this channel right okay so i don't really have um i don't really have a pre-shuffle guys um, and it's not for lack of trying um, i did try and get a pre-shuffle going but Spirit dumped a bunch of cards on the table and I was like, you know what? I am not reading this now. And they even just said to me, yeah, it wasn't necessary. Okay, fine. Um, but I will say this, the color that I'm getting for the collective today is purple. Okay. And so there's higher wisdom and spiritual guidance that's coming through here. Um, this could be, yeah, okay. They're, what they're telling me is this is a wrap up of Mercury in retrograde. Let me tell you, Mercury in retrograde kicked my ass this time. You guys, I have, I don't ever consciously remember experiencing a Mercury in retrograde cycle in which I, I had so much trouble between the PO box debacle that we went through. Um, the, the comments situation i mean like and it was really only it I, I, and i don't really want to talk too much about this again because i don't want to give it too much energy but because we're talking about you know this mercury retrograde and cycle i'll mention it um but the comments 
situation. You know, people leaving snarky comments about how I talk too much and blah, blah, why hasn't the reading started yet and blah, blah, blah. Let me, let me just like, for those of you that are legit wondering, let me just clear it up for you. This is called Divine Conversations. We have a conversation here. This is not, if you don't necessarily have the time to sit down and listen, okay, maybe listen at another time or find another reader. I don't know, but the, the, the point of why I started this channel was so that we could, so I could channel the energies for you guys and we could have a conversation about it, okay? On top of that, um, just the aggression that I felt over, you know, it's, it kind of did start to build up. Um, and, and just like the, the snarky comments where we're literally just, we're really only on the Virgo reading for, for November, which I found to be pretty interesting, but, and I'm not trying to rehash it. I'm not trying to open the wound again or whatnot, whatever. I'm just, I'm commenting on it because it was all part of this retrograde cycle. And for me, I, Okay, it was a product of, you know, the the pushback that I was getting from certain individuals that were watching the channel, probably still are at this point, I don't care, whatever. Um, but then, you know, with the P.O. box, and it's just I, all of this aggression was starting to come up. And then for me also, you know, the holidays coming, Thanksgiving, well, we're in holiday season right now, Thanksgiving is coming, um, which for a lot of us is a bit of a point of contention. There's just, there was so much aggression coming up in this cycle. I will be very glad when it's done. Um, there are a lot of points, even for myself, where I'm kind of like looking back on it, like kind of cringing, like, ugh, God, I wonder if that was a test, blah, blah, blah. And Spirit's like, no, we weren't testing you, Eric. <laughs> you were just in a Mercury retrograde cycle, and it was affecting you hardcore. Um, I know now, personally, I know now how to keep, that I need to keep things in better in check, how to keep things better in check, but... I mean, that's the, this cycle was intense, and it ends on the 20th, okay? The last day, Mercury goes direct the 20th of November, which I believe is Wednesday of this week. Today's the 18th, tomorrow's the 19th, yes, Wednesday of this week. Also, while I was starting to channel for the collective, I kept wanting to say Thursday, I was like, what is it about Thursday? Why, it's not Thursday, Eric, it's Monday, but as I was channeling the energies i kept wanting to say thursday well i think i just figured it out mercury goes direct on wednesday which is the 20th so the 21st which is thursday is going to be the first day of mercury full first full day of mercury being direct i'm assuming now and also i'm not an astrologer okay so there are there are some other people like if you really want a good rundown of what's going on with the planets, check out my sister, Betsy, Fearless Intuition. She's got a really good lock on that. I need to start studying that more, but I've been working on some other things. But um, but also keep in mind that we do have a two-week shadow period for Mercury once it goes direct. We still are still going to be... be a feeling a little bit of the residual effects for about two weeks after mercury goes direct but at least it will be direct right it won't be in retrograde anymore so i don't know if i mentioned this also but also the color for the collective is purple so there's a lot of wisdom a lot of divine understanding that's happening i want to say over the course of this week but also i'm also hearing spirit is saying that this is also over the course of the next month and a half which are the last which is the last time of 2019. And even while I was in my meditation this morning, I was kind of going over all like the, the aggression and the depression now that I'm feeling because of all of that stuff that was happening over Mercury retrograde. They were saying to me, my spirit guides were saying to me, you're going through a transformation right now, Eric. 2020 is coming and it's going to be a very, very, very beneficial year for a lot of us, if not all of us. Um, but it's mainly for those, what they're saying is it's mainly for those that have really been keeping up with their inner work, with their soul work. And this is not to put anyone on a pedestal. This is not to say anyone is better than somebody else. It's just a matter of who has been doing the work on themselves, who has been doing the work to facilitate their awakening, to pull themselves out of the system, to bring 
a sense of autonomy and sovereignty into their lives to disconnect from the matrix and mind control which i find really ironic because i did watch the matrix trilogy over the last week <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt like I wanted to watch it, and it was great. It was great movies. I loved them. But um, I even had a, a meditation session a few days ago. I was coming out of the meditation, and I saw a vision of st I was standing at a, at a staircase, um, and just a few steps up, there was a big door with a big white archway, and the door was opening, and inside the door, it kind of looked like a like an orangish, light sherbet colored type energy. Um, and I really feel like that is the doorway, the gateway, they're saying the portal that is opening for us to step into this new life. And it's not, and no, not everybody's gonna go with you, and it's really not going to be this drastic change. It's literally just a state of consciousness, a state of awareness that is shifting, that we're moving into. And it's not to say that any one person is better than the other, it's just a matter of if, you, if you've been diligent about doing your work, and what is your work? The work that you do to heal, to grow, to expand, to become a better version of yourself than you were before, to put the past behind you specifically, says spirit, um, to, to ascend. You know, if you've been consciously working on that, then you're going to be able to shift into this new energy as we move forward into 2020 and beyond. So for those of you that maybe are kind of new to this, you haven't really been kept keeping up with it, doesn't matter. There are going to be other portal dates moving forward. This is not like the, the last chance you'll get, but this is the start of when, 20, when we cross into 2020, this is going to be the start of major change in our lives. And the biggest thing that I'm feeling in terms of this major change that is coming in our lives is the, auto the power and the autonomy to do what it is we truly want to do instead of what the system tells us we should be doing, what society tells us we should be doing. No, we're living our lives in accordance to what is true for us, what is best for us, what it is our hearts are guiding us towards, not what some sort of system of control is guiding us towards. Yes, that's exciting, guys. All right, so so I guess that was our pre-shuffle energy. Um, it's funny because a lot of people say this, that they don't need the cards to read energy, and I'm starting to realize how I don't need them all either. It's just a matter of, you know, it's a tool. It's helpful. It helps direct the channeling and all that. So, all right, so let's uh, let's get started here. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, November 18th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm giving this five shuffle, guys. Um, shuffles, excuse me. But um, so already I'm seeing the color is shifting into yellow. So Thursday is going to be a really strong day for a lot of us. I'm already picking up that I feel like a lot of us are going to feel the direct movement, even though the things are still going to be a little bit sluggish because of that um, the 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 shadow period. I, I really feel like a lot of us are going to really start to feel that direct movement come Thursday, okay, which is the 21st. But now, for today, the color right now is yellow, or the color has shifted to yellow, and Spirit is saying that is awareness, okay? Um, keeping your wits about you, putting things into place logically, cognitively, uh, the understanding that you are assimilating, the understandings that you're coming to with the purple energy that we were talking about earlier, which is kind of like the overarching energy of the week. Right now, the color is yellow because with the wisdom that this purple energy is bringing forward, the yellow is helping you compartmentalize it, is what I'm hearing, is helping you put it into place, is, make, is helping you make cognitive uh make develop some sort of cognitive understanding of what it is you've been experienced over the last few weeks okay 
Okay, so five shuffles here, and we'll see what specifically Spirit wants to discuss with us today. This is three. Four. And five. All right, guys. Take a sip of just, oh, you know what? I'm just going to shuffle and we'll see what we get. All right, here we go. Monday, November 18th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. What would you like to discuss with us today? What would you like to discuss with us today, dear Spirit? One more, they're saying. Okay. So we have a card on the table already. I don't know what it is because my eyes are closed, but let's see. They're saying do one more, one more shuffle for today. Or at least one more pull. So, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. We're going to do one more also. Just one, one last one. I feel like this might be a lot. One last one. Okay. Is that enough? Okay, there we go. All right. Cool. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Overall energy, we do have the three of pentacles with, ah, the king of pentacles. All right. So here we go. So we also have judgment, the king of cups, justice, and the two of pentacles. So. What I'm getting with this is we have an ascension process, obviously. We have a wake-up call here. It feels like someone is still coming to terms with some injustices here. We have Justice and the King of Cups, but they fell out sideways. What I'm getting here is um, yeah, okay, so this definitely has to do with a lot of the things that have happened over the last over this retrograde period. Some of the ways we may have not been as emotionally responsible as we may have want it to be as we may have been in the past as we may as we now know in hindsight we know we should have been and that's kind of part of the reason why i feel like it's coming out sideways because we're having a little bit of an ego battle with this i'm not gonna lie and i know this kind of resonates with myself too um and i'll, I'll put myself out there okay so um in terms of some of the ways that I personally could have reacted, like, yes, I needed to defend myself and I needed to put up boundaries and I needed to like say, look, this is what it is. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. But as far as like, we'll take talking too much as an example, as far as talking too much, we're here to have a conversation. And if you don't like it, and if, that's does, if that doesn't resonate with you, that doesn't mean that you have the right to leave some sort of snarky comment and, and follow it up with, specific attacks, hateful speech, um, um, saying things that aren't even true. Like with this situation, this tiff that I got into two weeks, is it two weeks ago now? Whatever. I basically left a comment and said, okay, bye, because they said I was talking too much. And then they decided to follow up with uh, making accusations like first of all calling me transgender as if being transgender is a is a bad thing then saying i either look like a drag queen or frankenstein i don't know how to act i don't i i, I can't keep my mouth shut i'm i'm being sued by clients because i've been and and because and and i've been to jail and i'm a drug dealer and i'm a uh, uh, and and and, uh, and and all that like like how do you follow that? Like, really? <laughs> okay. But then for me, it's like, 
I then turn around and I mentioned it here, but I got a little vicious about it. And you know what? That was a bit of my ego flaring. And at this point, I'm kind of looking back on everything. It's like I really didn't have to react at all. Okay. So look, King of Cups sideways, judge justice sideways. I mean, yeah, there was injustice, but how much of that do you really need to respond to? But also then there's the other question. And this is where the Two of Pentacles in, comes in. How much do you just take? Where do you draw the line between defending yourself and just fighting back? Two of Pentacles with judgment. Okay. So it's almost, the, okay. So what Spirit is saying here is this is a clearing process. This is a clearing process. And with the Three of Pentacles here as your overall energy, with the King of Pentacles on the other side of the card, or on the side, other side of the deck, I really do feel like this is coming to terms with um, learning where you can solidify your foundation, where you can best work on yourself, because Three of Pentacles does represent um, teamwork, entrepreneurship, yes, but it also represents uh, the art of self-mastery or the work towards self-mastery. With the King of Pentacles here, this is being well manifested, um, solid, grounded. And I do feel like this is actually a, a deeper sense, a deeper level of um, understanding of yourself, feeling more confident in yourself, feeling more secure, more stable, more grounded, okay? So whatever it is we've all been through, in terms of this retrograde period, so there are some really strange noises coming from the street right now. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I paused. But with this current uh, retrograde period, I really feel like this was a big, it really kind of actually, it feels like it was a big purger. I mean, we're no strangers to purging here, right? But it feels like this was a big push to get Okay, for some of us to put some greater boundaries into place, to bring a greater um, balance into the situation. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get there in a second. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pretty scattered. There's a lot that's coming through right now. But um, it was a big push to get us to finally put some things to rest finally end some circumstances what i'm hearing her end some circumstances maybe i want to also kind of say end some sort of contracts with certain individuals um but okay the biggest end in when it comes to like if you're ending contracts here this is you finally getting the emotional maturity to stand up and say no more of this injustice and what I'm getting with this, with this King of Cups, and it's, it's not about fighting back. It's literally about pulling yourself away from the situation, pulling yourself out of it and saying, you know what? It is what it is. You're in your space. I'm in my space. I no longer want to be a part of this. So I'm going to do the adult thing. I'm not going to try and fight you. I'm not going to try and change you. I'm not going to try and tear you down. I'm not even going to try and stop you. I'm just going to pull myself away. And I'm going, I'm going to go in a completely different direction. I'm going to go on my own journey. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. King of Cups, Justice, Judgment also. Okay. And it's no more, it's no more. This is what I wanted to say about the Two of Pentacles here. It's no more dog and pon pony show. Because you see, it's this side of the card where you have this individual that's keeping up the balance or keeping up appearance for all those hoity-toity people at the top that think they're so special and have so much money, think they're, they're, like, they're, they're, they're so great, and they're like the bee's knees, like the best thing since sliced bread. This individual is, is performing for them, basically, and it's like, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. Not doing it anymore. I'm not keeping up appearance. I'm not keeping the balance just to make you feel safe or happy. Like this, it is not my respons. <laughs> it is not my responsibility to cater to you, says this individual here in the Two of Pentacles. For some of you, that is the realization that you're in the process of coming to right now, and it's a difficult one to handle, especially since you're going to have to bite the bullet, take the upper hand, and move forward. And so, and, and especially with this injustice energy here, with the backside of justice. Some people may really not like that. Narcissists, they're going to probably try and tear you down in the process, but you are going to have to stay on your high road. 
stay on the high road. I, w I almost said stay on your high horse. Don't do that. Just stay on the high road. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. I just, oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to touch the mic again. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm still learning how to use this this mic, but I there was a point while I was getting ready to start the reading where I realized that I was going to have to move the microphone to take to drink my coffee or the actual mic is going to end up like in the coffee and that's not a good thing and I just realized that I didn't do that, but we're okay. But I also can't keep touching the mic cuz I'm sure that's really loud on your ears. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to move forward, um, and I want to get some clarification here. This is the Dreaming Way Tarot. What I want to do first is I want to clarify the King of Cups and Justice. <clears throat> now, this did come out sideways, but we understand why it's sideways. So, I want to look more at this energy for you guys. Get a little more, get a little more of a definition here for you. So we need this three shuffles. So two more. One. All right, King of Cups and Justice, but it's the backside of Justice. I mean, you know, it kind of makes sense. What I was just seeing with this side of Justice here is that darkness and demons and destruction and whatnot have been running amok. It's almost as if a portal had opened and just demons were running around everywhere. But guys, don't you remember that Mercury started its actual retrograde? Like it, it officially went retrograde on Halloween? I literally just remembered that. So it makes perfect sense. At least in my mind, it makes perfect sense that this this retrograde period um, was so marred by such negative, destructive energy, mean, nasty energy, you know? It just makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I just remember that. Okay, so let's look at this. Justice and the King of Cups here. Let's get a little more clarity on this one. Justice and the King of Cups. Sorry, I need to do that again. I wasn't focusing. <laughs> Let's try this again. Justice and the King of Cups. Let's clarify this energy a little bit more, please, Spirit. Justice and the, the King of Cups. What is this? The Hanged Man. Okay, see, yeah, definitely, definitely. Change in perspective. We do have the Three of Swords. It looks like the Page of Pentacles with the Lovers and the Five of Wands. Interesting. Okay. Overall energy is the Nine of Wands. All right. So, oh no, okay. Hanged Man with the Queen of Wands, Three of Swords. What did I think that was? That I think I thought that was the Page of Pentacles, but it's actually the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Lovers with the Five of Wands. So what I'm getting with the Lovers and the Five of Wands, it's not necessarily about a romantic situation. It's more about vice over virtue. It's what I'm really feeling with this Lovers here is be a choice of being true to yourself or kowtowing, keeping up appearance, being exactly what it is everyone else around you tells you you should be instead of just being truthful and honest being yourself okay um you have the queen of wands with the hanged man here and the three of swords this is a very interesting combination a very interesting combination especially since we're clarifying this king of cups justice energy right First of all, I am seeing a balance between the masculine and the feminine here. But what is what this is saying is that there's a little bit. Okay, I'm getting definitely getting a little bit of overzealousness with the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is not afraid to step up and defend herself. The Queen of Wands can also be a pretty narcissistic energy, just like the King of Wands. Okay, um, and I did hear narcissism while I was talking about this. So. Look, keep in mind, in terms of, like, narcissistic tendencies and whatnot, we all have it, okay? 
whether you find yourself at one point in your life on the empathic side or on the narcissistic side, we all have the capability of being an empath and being a narcissist within us. It is part of our societal makeup right now. I don't even want to say our genetic makeup. This is what, this is a part of human life right now, okay? But there is a little bit of a twinge of narcissism here with this Queen of Wands energy going forward and very Aryan, you know, just just, you know, having something to say and saying it and not really even keeping, being um, aware of whether it's even necessary to do so or not. This is being so full of yourself and thinking so highly of yourself to think that, you know, you can just go throwing your opinions around and everyone is just supposed to accept it. Well, no, that uh, opinions are just like assholes, people. Everybody's got one. It doesn't mean that your opinion is any better than someone else's, okay? There is a little, there's an energy, there's definitely a twinge, of, and, and I'm not trying to say that I'm any better either, you know? I'm in this energy too, all right? So take it as it resonates, but there is a, there is a twinge of feeling the pinch there and gaining some sort of change in perspective and it's a it's and and, and yeah look i mean it's definitely led to some heartbreak here three of swords but i feel like that was what i feel like here with this three of swords it's more of um the energy that you're putting out there coming back to haunt you coming back to bite you in the ass that's what I feel like with this Three of Swords energy, okay? But that's what's leading us to this realization of taking emotional responsibility and taking the high road here and not allowing ourselves to, to dip down into lower vibrational energies, okay? It's very interesting. With the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck, there's, a, there's definitely a sense of perseverance, but needing to persevere. What I'm also kind of getting with this Nine of Wands is that some of you might kind of be in this energy of just wanting to give up. I get it. I totally get it. And like from my perspective here, like speaking of on onto my journey or my what's been going on with me, you know, this Nine of Wands is like, dude, Eric, are you serious? You you let yourself get wrapped up in all that again? Come on. <laughs> you know, that's what that's kind of what this felt like for me. But anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's look into, let's look into justice and this two of pentacles here, because I really do feel like giving, this is definitely giving up that sense to keep up the peer, keep up appearance here, receiving some sort of higher calling here that's going to help you drop these two pentacles stop jug stop juggling just for the satisfaction of everybody else look here guys if you are still requiring your external circumstances to look a certain way in order for you to feel happy then you are setting yourself up for failure period end of story the more you, you, the more you expect the external world to look a certain way for you, to appear a certain way for you, just to feel happy, safe, or satisfied, is the moment that you give all your power away. All right? So, judgment with the Two of Pentacles. Let's get a little more clarity on this. Okay, we have something that's flipped out already. Let's see what it is, and then we're going to get more. The three of pentacles. Yeah, you see? Going from that two to the three. Instead of allowing other people to define your worth for you, you are waking up, and you're saying, you know what? I'm not going to allow all of these big wigs and spectators to tell me what my value and my worth is. I'm actually going to continue to build it on my own. Three of pentacles. So this has definitely been a good thing because it's pushing us deeper into this sense. Oh, excellent. It's pushing us deeper into this sense of self-mastery here. You have the Knight of Whoa, you have the Knight of Swords with the with the Sun and the 9 of Wands again is on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um Wow. Okay. This is This is charging forward. 
Okay, this is starting to new. With the Knight of Swords, I am picking up on, you know, some def I'm hearing defensive energies. Um, probably pretty aggressive, but um, overly zealous, maybe even overly defensive energies. Okay, sure. I can attest to that. Maybe I was getting a little over defensive, but you know what? At least I knew what my worth is to defend. I'll give you that. Like, okay, sure. I'm human. I make mistakes, okay? But I'm not going to I'm not going to beat myself up because I defended myself. No. But also, I don't have to even allow that to affect me anymore. Like why even why even acknowledge it? Why even give it any energy? Why even give it any energy? Why even respond to it at all? And I'm using myself as a, as an example here, all right? So take this as it resonates for you guys, all right? I'm absolutely putting my head out on the block on the chopping block here and saying, look, sticking my neck out there and saying, like, look, this is what happened with me. This has been my experience. How does that resonate with you? Right. I mean, it, to be honest, as the person that I am, I would not feel comfortable being here doing these readings for you guys, basically standing on my soapbox preaching if I didn't give you some sort of example of how this is affecting my life. Also, I am better than nobody else. We are all equal here. Okay. We're all going through it. But the saving grace is here. No matter what this Knight of Swords might, might um, represent for you, whether it's you being overly aggressive and chopping people down to size without, uh, or, or trying to chop people down to size or cut people down to size, trying to, quote, put someone in their place or trying to tell someone that they need to do this, that, and the other thing to be better when it's really not even your place to say so, or whether you're just in a really aggressive, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever this Knight of Swords is for you, it's okay. The sun is here. It's okay. Because ultimately, it's just illuminating places that you can fortify your foundation. Knight of Swords to the Sun to the Three of Pentacles. That's all. It's literally all it is. So re regardless, whether you're on the receiving end of whatever this Knight of Swords energy, and the, the Knight of Swords really does feel like harsh communication, okay? Um... Oof, okay, well, I also just heard for some of you, this is sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Trying to, ah, there's that, nar that, there's that sense of narcissism. Coming into a situation thinking you have all the answers, telling people about themselves or telling people what they should and shouldn't do when it's really not even your place to say so to begin with. That's for some of you. I don't know what, I mean, whatever. That's what just came through. That's, that's that sense of narcissism. It's that sense of self-importance that spirit is trying to come forward with, bring forward with queen. Oh, you can't see it. The, the queen of, that's what this queen of wands is representing. Okay. Regardless of whatever this is, is for you, whether you're on the receiving end of this or you're dishing this out in some way, it's fine because it's just helping you see where you can fortify yourself, where you can work on bettering yourself, where you can continue to work on this ever expanding, ever evolving sense of self, self mastery. It's really all it is, guys. Okay? So don't beat yourselves up too much about it. Regardless of whatever side you're on, it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's move forward here. I want to get Spirit's take on this situation. And then we're going to close the reading with our Oracle Guidance. I want to tell you guys something funny. So there's a fly in my room. There has been one singular fly that got into our apartment and it was hanging out in my room for a while and then it did fly out into the rest of the apartment but it's ended up back into my room now my room is one of the warmest rooms in my apartment so that makes sense the rest of my apartment can get really cold but my room and the room right above me because the way my apartment is set up where there's four of us um there are two rooms on one side of the apartment on the other end of the apartment where I am there's my room on the ground floor and then there's another room above me so it's like it's set up as a duplex right my room and the room above me get really really hot in both in the summer and the winter but that's because we have the sun coming directly in and our ceilings aren't as high as the rooms on the other side this fly has been hanging out in my room and it's funny because 
it's landed on my bed on a pillow and it's facing me. It's literally sitting there looking like it's like listening to morning coffee right now. It is the funniest thing ever. Hi, little fly. <laughs> I really wanted to share that with you guys because I'm getting a huge kick out of it. This fly has literally joined me for morning coffee and I freaking love it. Okay. <laughs> so let's get... We're going to get some oracle guidance here. We're going to start with Spirit's take on this whole situation here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Eight of Cups. Ooh, wow. This Nine of Wands just keeps coming out, you guys. Look at that. Okay. All right. Oh, ooh, wow. And then there's the Five of Wands again. Okay, literally, guys, differing of opinion. Ego battles, straight up ego battles. I mean, that's literally what this what this has been. It's been an ego battle, okay? Uh, narcissism, and it's not necessary. The overall situation, the overall ending or situ uh, uh, overall message that Spirit wants to bring forward here is the Ten of Pentacles, the World, and the Nine of Wands. So, you're coming to the completion of a lesson. Ten of Pentacles. And there's definitely an energy of needing to persevere, just keep going. But I really feel like you need to keep going, but Spirit is also guiding you to keep going in a sense of pulling your way, pulling pulling yourself out of situations that leave you feeling battered and bruised, that leave you feeling sick, that leave you injured, whatnot, whatever. I mean, this was a really, I guess, a tough lesson in boundaries. What type of energy do you really want to be tangoing with? right now and moving forward honestly ask yourself i mean look back at what what may have gone on for you over this last retrograde period some of the fights you may have gotten into some of the situations you may have found yourself in the debacles whatnot whatever the altercations whatnot whatever and think and ask yourself what do i really want to surround myself with hopefully you're leaving this kind of energy behind Knight of Swords, right? Which ultimately it was a good thing, but here you go. Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Eight of Cups walking away. And it's interesting that I said the Eight of Pentacles and not the Eight of Cups because this is the Eight of Pentacles could very well be continuing to do that 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 that, that work to continue to craft yourself here. Yeah? What do we have? <gasps> the Sun again with the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Ultimately, you guys, spirit keeps repeating narcissism. I really feel like we're having a, a strong view into how narcissism manifests into our lives. I feel like we're in a massive purge, and I feel like 2020 is going to be a time period where we're really not letting narcissism run our lives anymore. So this could be why we're dealing with such extreme examples of it in our lives right now so that we can really put it to rest and stop that cycle. But here you have the sun with the six of pentacles and the nine of cups. Ultimately, whatever illumination that you received or you have been receiving and you continue to receive, we'll say throughout this week, but also we'll say throughout the rest of the year, it's going to help you bring more balanced and reciprocal energies, relationships into your lives, which ultimately will leave you with a sense of satisfaction. And wish fulfillment, happiness, contentment. It's beautiful, you guys. All right, Oracle Guidance is coming from uh, the Crystal Mandala deck today. All right, here we go. Oracle guidance for today's reading for this collective channeling, collective message here. Let's see what we get. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. Today for the collective 
There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Card number 33. Ascended Master Helios and Citrine, your time to shine. And this actually is falling right in line with all of this sun energy. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm just, I'm channeling already. We're going to read the card, but with this Two of Pentacles energy here. It's almost as if you've been, or some of us have been in an energy of thinking that we're shining, okay? Because we're putting on this, this show and people are, 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 are vibing with it. They're great until something happens that they don't like. And then all of a sudden they're going to read you the riot act or they're going to tell you that they say this, that, and the third. It's like, whoa, 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 wait a second. But that's when you start to realize I'm not, wait, wait, who am I really doing this for? Am I doing this? What am I really doing this for, even? Am I doing this just to show up in a certain way? Am I doing this to give off some sort of air or some sort of make people see me in a certain way? Or am I doing this because it's authentic to who I am? Or am I doing this because this is what I really love to do? This is really who I am. Am I being authentic or am I putting on a mask, putting on a face? I feel like for a lot of you, you're starting to realize that you might have been acting or living in certain ways that weren't really that authentic to you. And so now, with, because of that realization coming forward, now it really is your time to shine because you can shine exactly as you truly are, not the way they say you're supposed to. Wow. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. Sorry, I had an itch. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. I want to say this before I go forward. That the, the, the sinking, in, uh, aligning, surrendering to and aligning with divine consciousness is going to help you show up in ways that the general public that aren't necessarily aligned in those ways are going to, under, they're not going to understand it. They may not even like it. They may tell you, you have to do this, you, you, you have to do, 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 do things a certain way to really appear, quote, divine. No, actually, What's necessary is that you get in divine alignment and then you tell me what is divine and what's not. Mm -hmm. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light and help those in need, perhaps lost or in darkness of some sort in the physical world. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yes? Take care. Mwah. Bye.